This demonstration involves energy and a lot of calories. We have our putt-putt out for our participants to examine. They can look all they want. They simply can't touch. It stopped. Hmm. Now we're going to take this and we're going to explore why this happens. We want to make our observations first, and it shouldn't just be visual observations. It should also be other types of observations. We need to use all of our senses. Well, I saw a little smoke coming from the boat. It took a little bit of time once the flame was put underneath the top of the boat, but then I started to hear some noises. That's why we call it a putt, 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 putt boat. And then the boat started to move through the water. You might have been able to pick up some ripple effects, almost like a wave-like pattern. We challenge our students, whether they're teachers or some of our teenagers, to try to explain how this happens. To do that, we're going to look at how this boat is constructed. I'm moving to the easel here. And at the easel, I have two diagrams. This is looking down on the boat. And the first thing that we see is that there are at the back of the boat two openings, two pipes that run into a central reservoir. Now, for this boat to function, we've got to flood this with water. So we take a pipette, we inject water into this end, we fill the reservoir, we push water out the other end, making sure that this is filled completely with water before we put it into uh, the tank here. This is a side view of the boat. And you can see at least one of the pipes going up to a reservoir. Now remember, they're filled with water. So water, 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 and then a pool of water in the reservoir. When I inserted the flame into the back of the boat. I looked inside to make sure that the small candle was sitting underneath this lip of the reservoir. So this heat from the flame is being used and I'm taking heat energy, chemical energy, and I'm using it to have this water undergo a physical change. By heating the water here, it is going to expand go into the gas phase, and the gas phase is going to occupy more volume. So it's going to push some of the water out. We want to see this, so I've set up a system here which can show exactly how this functions. Okay, we're going to light this Bunsen burner. It's kind of hard to adjust. It's got a real full throttle on it. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. We have a large test tube that's filled with water. Inside the test tube is a piece of glass tubing that extends through the rubber stopper down into our lake. That would be the same as the pan of water here. And as we start to heat here, this heat is going to heat just the water in this end of the tube. So this is going to be our hot water here. We'll have cooler water down here. I'm going to hold this up just a little bit to get it started. Can you, can you see that? All right. Very quickly, I have changed the liquid water into the gas phase by the addition of heat. And I should be getting the water going down here. I'm just going to let it go on its own. Make sure I'm lined up here. Should be. There we go. Nice and slow. Bubble at the top. The gas phase of the water then is going to be causing the water to be pushed out into the beaker here. And look at the action that we have in this inner tube, up and down, up and down. 
All right. Well, that's what's causing the motion of the putt-putt boat. Let's look real quickly at the easel again, and let's see what we have. This is a diagram of the setup here. The, the uh, large test tube with the inner uh, piece of glass tubing, everything filled with water. We're heating this, this end here. And these steps take us through what's happening. The heat from the flame is going to take the water in the liquid phase, heat it to the gas phase. You see bubbling there. Because the gas phase occupies a larger volume, the water is going to be pushed down the tube. The water levels go down, down. We see some gas actually entering the top of the inner glass piece of tubing. All right. Well, as this moves down the tube, the gas goes down the tube, the steam is going to now be found in colder regions. The top of the tube is going to be hotter because the flame is here. The lower part of the tube is colder. So we have this gas being produced and forced into the uh, glass tubing, but when it gets far enough down into the tube, it starts to cool off, and it's going to condense again. When it condenses, then water is going to be pulled back up into the tube. And so we get this action. As the gas is being heated, the gas forces the water out of the tube, then the gas is cooled, water comes back in. Gas is being heated, the liquid water is being heated, going into the gas, forcing the water out of the tube, lower in the tube, it cools off, push back up. So we get this motion, and this is what's causing the little putt, 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 putt. You can see this if you look in the tank. You'll, you may see some ripples here as the water is pushed in and out of the tube as the steam condenses and then the liquid water goes back to steam and we go through this phase change. It's a good example here of taking chemical energy using this phase change from the liquid to the gas and back again to change that form of energy into mechanical energy because you're actually pushing the boat now through the water, moving the boat through the water. Looking at energy changes is an important part of chemistry and physical science. And the putt-putt boat, with this sort of a setup, allows you to thoroughly investigate how and why this happens. Thanks.